I think art is something that I've always been interested in to a certain extent. But when I think about when or how I became an artist, I think about the community of mentors and peers that I met when I came to Sackville. And yeah, it's really because of them that I'm an artist now. So one of the things I suppose that motivates me as an artist is looking at what might be hidden in plain sight and then finding ways to bring that forward. The work comes from place and looking at what's there, why it's there, what that can tell us, and then I find a way to respond to that and that's where the work uh, comes from. My work can be video, audio, installation, sculpture, even sometimes performance. And when I'm thinking about what medium to work in, I think about what I'm trying to express and what fits best with that. In 2019, I began an ongoing collaboration with my partner, artist Miranda Bellamy. Recently, Miranda and I had an exhibition at the Owens Art Gallery here in Sackville titled Terrarium, and that included two video installations. One was listening to our plant neighbors, and the second was titled Awardian Case. Something that Miranda and I do as collaborators in our practice is specifically look at plants. We are really interested to see what plants might be present in any certain site uh, that we're looking at. Maybe there's been some kind of human intervention that's brought them there and what that can tell us about human history. And that's been like a point of departure for many projects that we've done together as collaborators. So for our upcoming project, um, we've been invited to develop an exhibition at Teata Mira, which is a new art centre in Tahuna, Queenstown, in Aotearoa, New Zealand. At this stage of our research, we've been thinking about working with schist, and we've been thinking about working with a method called dry stone, dry stone wall construction, which is building without the use of mortar. We've been considering that this new work might have an audio component. Uh, it's still very much in development, and we're looking forward to getting started. In the lead up to our exhibition, Terrarium, we were doing some research, and we came across John Hammond, who is the first director of the Owens Art Gallery. And what we learned was that John Hammond had spent time in New Zealand in the 1860s as a young person working in the gold fields in what is now called Central Otago. We had the opportunity to read through some of John Hammond's writings and his journal. What we're interested in is how that story traces or can connect to the movement of people and the movement of wealth through colonial capitalism, really. Anytime there's the opportunity to make new work uh, and share new work, there's the opportunity that people might connect with the work and then through dialogue with them, um, we might learn something new and there just are never enough opportunities for artists to have acknowledgement, to have the support of their peers, to feel encouraged in their practice. The Maria Len Alain Fellowship is that acknowledgement and support for artists that's so important for anyone's practice. <laughs>